Winter Weekend 2016 will be here soon and with a full schedule of all the weekends just being released, let's go through them all and see which of them will be most useful for you. Starting on December 2nd and ending on the 5th, the first and newest weekend to Winter Weekend is titled The Arc Weekend, mainly focusing on players who have yet to finish the arc. This weekend will offer half price supplies, a chance to not deplete your resources on your uncharted islands, plus two waiku contracts per day, and two orakami spawns on each uncharted island instead of the usual one. December 9th through the 12th brings in a skilling weekend packed with loads of benefits for anybody from the new skillers to the more high tiered veteran style. Geared towards players needing just a bit of a touch up on some of their skill levels, these include double XP and reputation at Artisan's Workshop, increased node spawns and reward points at Runespan, bonus chance on jeweled statuettes while wearing a ring of wealth, and double chance at Scepter of Black Ibis at the Pyramid Plunder, enriched divination nodes spawns every 10 minutes, fishing spots staying in place for twice as long, divination wisps lasting twice as long, mining nodes and tree replenishes twice as quickly, and plus 50% base Big Chinchampa XP. The 16th through the 19th of December is the Bossing and Slayer weekend, which for me and a lot alike will be the most beneficial weekend for them all. During these days we can expect increased chance of rare drops and enhanced ring of wealth, charm drops given one more charm than normal, 50% increased base Slayer XP over the period of the weekend all assigned Slayer tasks are treated using a Slayer VIP ticket, 10% cheaper instance fees, extra training points from boss training, and Mazcab raids cannot be looted once per day. The weekend of Christmas itself is another new winter weekend in the lineup and it focuses on clue scrolls. Players will receive one free clue scroll roll per day, so no more having to wait for your third clue for a reroll. Gilly Willinkers will give you one free clue scroll per day as well of your choice, but there is a total level cap for high tiered clues. Easy clue scrolls for level 30 37 through 1400, medium for 1401 through 2000, hard for 2001 through 2500, and elites are for the 2501 plus total level. 30th of December till the 9th of January is going to bring us ports week with increased void rerolls, 30% increased resources from voyages, and bard made missions being available on Saturday and Sunday as well. Minigame week comes in from the 30th of December till the 2nd of January, granting players an additional Castle Wars gold ticket per game, double points from stealing creation, double zeal from soul wars, and many other benefits. For players interested in minigame weekend, check out the full list on screen now or head over to the homepage for the main article. And lastly, as winter weekend or weeks comes to an end, we have Dungeoneering weekend, which was a fan favorite in the past, coming from the 6th of January till the 9th. Players will receive double tokens from Dungeoneering floors and sinkholes, along with sinkhole lamp XP increased by 50%, so be sure to run your dailies and take part in sinkholes on that weekend for some great XP. That's a really packed list for this coming winter weekend event. I really enjoy and look forward to this update each year and try to take part in as many events as I can. Pick and choose or do them all. You won't be disappointed in the rewards lined up for you this year. That's going to do it for me. Enjoy your winter weekend 2016, and I'll see you in the next one.